The nation's leading technical weekly, Scientific American, was the first to publicize the phonograph. Following Edison's demonstration of the device in the journal's New York offices on December 7, 1877. And through the medium of the phonograph? Here is a piece of metal, the paper's editor wrote in wonder, that talks in such a way that there can be no doubt but that the inflections are those of the human voice. All the new technologies are talked about, written about in Scientific American. And everybody who is important in these fields, whether you're an inventor, engineer, or patent attorney, you're going to read Scientific American. Those physicists and scientists who were working on sound, and everybody who was following that and knew how complex sound was, here comes the joker with a little metal diaphragm with a needle in the middle of it. And he records the human voice. Alexander Graham Bell and the people who had been working on sound, you know, like went smack themselves in the forehead um, once they saw how simple it was. It is a most astonishing thing to me, Bell confessed to his father-in-law, that I could possibly have let this invention slip through my fingers. The brief notice in Scientific American set off a stampede. Reporters beat a path to Menlo Park to hear this astounding thing. And I am astonished and somewhat terrified at the result of this evening experiment. The phonograph made Edison world famous really kind of suddenly. He did demonstrations and the phonograph just blew people's minds. <laughs> 